Bonjour, friendship ladies. Do you want to look good in pants but don't quite know the do's and don'ts? Well, this video is for you. I will be giving you 10 secrets to looking good in pants. Please stay to the end for my little gift of $99 from me to you. Our first secret to looking good in pants is tailoring for better fit. And I know many of you will say, but Marianne, I want to be comfortable. But I am here to tell you, ladies, that good tailoring is comfortable. Why? Because it is tailored to fit. So you have to choose the right fit for you. I think I've said this a number of times, but tailoring does not mean tight. Good tailoring is very flattering, ladies. No matter your body shape, your size or your height, good tailoring will always be very flattering for you. It keeps your tummy in check and it allows for no muffin tops. So please invest in tailoring if you can. Our next secret to looking good in pants is no elasticated waist. Many elasticated waist gather at the waistline. And because of this, it adds more fabric just at that area. So your waistline will look thicker and wider. So therefore you will look wider also. This is why this type of elasticated waistband are not flattering. However, yes, there are a few elasticated waist style that don't add the extra fabric. For instance, in some knitted style, and I've seen some from Spanx. So these are smooth, yes, but they are fit. So unless you're wearing a Spanx style or wearing Spanx under that style, this won't be flattering. It will be very tight and may create muffin top above the waistline. So if you want to get it right, it is best to stick to the tailored styles. And next secret to looking good in pants, it's about correct rise. First of all, what is a rise in trousers? Well, it is the distance between the waistline and the crotch. And the problem with the rise, a rise is, <laughs> especially for tall women or women with a long torso, because the rise may not be high enough and thus it will pull up and unfortunately it will create a camel toe and altogether not very flattering look you may agree with me our next secret to looking good in pants is about the correct length so first of all how long should your pants be and the length of the pants will depend on the length of your legs of course but also the type of shoes you will be wearing with those trousers heels, high heels, mid heels, or flats. The wrong leg length may not look right and may chop your legs off visually. So now let's have a look at which leg length for which style of trouser leg. First, the wide leg pants. If they are too long, they will cover your feet and you will look like you have no feet. So it's not very really flattering. So half an inch of the floor is the perfect length. And now, straight leg pants. These are usually hemmed so that they don't bend or crease at the hemline. So with heels, you have to allow for longer length. But with flat, the leg will be shorter. However, don't let them puddle at your feet, as some designer would show you. Next, skinnies. Skinny leg pants should be short enough to show your ankle and should stop at the narrowest part of your ankle. Why? Because they make your leg look slimmer. Skinny leg pants are the most versatile because you can wear flats and heels. Next, crop leg pants. These can vary in length from just under the knee to just a couple of inches above your ankle. And also, unfortunately, they vary in width. And this is where the problem lies. Be very careful with crop leg pants especially where they are hemmed. Because if they stop at the widest part of your calf, your leg will look wider. So if hemmed at the right part of your leg, you can wear both flats and heels. And this takes us to our next secret to looking good in pants. No cropped wide legs. And this one is very simple. Why is that? Because 
cropped wide legs, shorten your legs, and widen you. So really, mm, double whammy. Another no no is the frayed hem. Please no, it just looks lazy, unfinished, downright frumpy. Never chic, never elegant. And of course, this goes along with the distressed jeans. Another no no. Our next secret to looking good in pants is good fit over the bottom. Many women with a pay shape ask me, Marianne, how can I find a pair of trousers that fits me? If the bottom fits them, the waistline is too wide. If the waistline would fit them nicely, they can't get the bottom to fit inside the trousers. But this is very easy to solve. You can get the waistline taken in by a seamstress. The cost of a seamstress is a small price to pay for a good fitted pair of pants. What do you think of the secret so far? Have you got some of your own? Let us know in the comments. Our next secret to looking good in pants is pockets. Beware of pockets. Pockets are add-ons, as I call them. They add extra fabric, therefore extra volume to your bottom. If you have a large bottom, opt for trousers that have no pockets at the rear. However, pockets are very good for small and flat bottoms like mine because they add volume, they will make your small or flat bottom more voluminous. In this case, pockets are a good thing. Our next secret to looking good in pants is no VPL. Always wear the right style of knickers for the trousers that you are wearing. There are some trousers, for instance, thick fabrics that may not show VPL very much, if not at all. However, for most trousers, you may be able to see the outline of your knickers. So this is not very flattering, as we know. So according to your choice and what you feel more comfortable with, wear G-strings, boy shorts, or knickers with no seam. And talking about VPL, let's remember that if you are wearing white trousers, it is better to wear nude knickers. Please don't forget to wait to the end for my $99 gift for you. Our next secret to looking good in pants is my favorite, is shoes. It's always disappointing not to be able to wear your favorite trousers because either they are too long for your flats or too short for your heels. So what can you do? Unless you want to buy two pairs, one short length and one long length, it is always better to know in advance which shoes you are going to wear, whether flats or heels. You need to make up your mind beforehand, but it's not always easy, I know. Our next secret to looking good in pants is, of course, to wear the proper style for your body shape. And this brings me to my $99 gift for you. To help you further to find the correct style for your body shape, you can get my $99 Masterclass Shake Up Your Jeans for limited time only, completely free to you. Have a look at the link below this video. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one. 